another week, another vlog. This week, I had a whole bunch of stuff just flooding my mind on what to talk about. It's a, it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> one of the things that I had thought about was one of the guys that I watch, one of the YouTubers I watch is D-Man. He's from New Zealand. Awesome guy. He's got a lot of things going on on his channel. I'll put the link down below. He, um, he's been doing a lot of stuff with music, which is cool. And it just struck me that uh, one of the lyrics uh, for a 21 pilot song that's, you know, very popular right now uh, is that death inspires me like a dog inspires a rabbit. Now, truly, a dog inspires a rabbit because he's bringing death. He's just a different um, vehicle than we might be facing. Although, I guess we could be killed by dogs. And why does that bring that up? There's been a lot of talk lately about people on YouTube who get burned out because they have to be so, they, we have to be so positive all the time and then trying to deal with negativity. That's one of the things that turns me off on channels that are always so positive that you never, ever see a human side. But let's face it, as a society, we don't like to talk about death. We don't like to talk about being fat. I'm fat. And when I say that, it freaks people out. When I say other people are fat, they're like, oh, you're being a jerk. And I'm like, no, no, no. It actually comes from a place of compassion because identifying that you're fat was one of the hardest things for me to do to for myself, even though it was obvious. It's hard for me to go, hey, John, you're fat. It was. Now I'm there. I can deal with it. But the point is that this negativity, we can't deal with it unless we identify it. In a strange way, that's been weighing heavy on my mind. We're all going to have to deal with death sooner or later. The mortality rate is pretty much hovering right around 100%. It's not something I want to tiptoe around. I don't want to belabor the point where it sucks all the joy out of life either. So that was just a thought. A few things this last week. I was in Kentucky for a seminar I had to go to for work. It was good overall. But the coolest thing, I think, was that I'd run into a crew that had just gotten done shooting an episode for a TLC show. Uh, they were so generous with their information, what they do. They talked about their jobs and how they do them and what they do. And uh, very generous people. And these are working uh, people out of Hollywood for the most part. Some are local, which is awesome. They were great people and it was a great experience. I was very thankful. Also on Friday, I got a therapeutic massage. And... I think Saturday morning, I videoed a little commentary about it. I wanted to share that last night I had my first therapeutic massage. It was a special kind of torture. <laughs> the person I went to to have the massage done is the lady who also cuts my hair. But she found some knots I didn't even know were there and um, really worked them. I have slept, well I slept 10 hours, which is rare for me, and I feel like I could go back to bed for a couple more, but I have things to do. I have been guzzling water uh, since I got home last night, I drank a bunch. So I'm in a lot of pain, uh, not like agonizing sharp pain, but achy pain, all my muscles from being all massaged out, and I just wanted to share that as a, an expectation. A general feel of, uh, I feel lethargic, and I, uh, yeah. And Saturday, I also went and met with a friend of mine from high school who was going through town. It was great. Now, back in the old days, we used to try and hang out for hours and hours and hours, but he was stopping through town. We had lunch together, had a beer, talked. It was great. Um, especially since I'm in a time crunch. I wanted to spend some time with him, but at the same time, I don't have a lot of time. So my buddy Matt Teets came in, we had lunch and a beer. Well, I had a big beer, he had a small one. Uh, and then he went on his way, I went back and, and worked on what I had to work on. I think the shorter interaction times uh, with people, for me, where they used to be these long half day to full day events all the time, uh, I'm gonna try and do more of these short hour, two hour hangouts where I get to see the people I need to see, but I, I don't have to stay there all that long. It's just a, a, a quick contact. 
there are there are two things going on with my workouts. Uh, one is I'm getting ready tomorrow to step up intensity as far as weights for lifting, and I'm trying to come up with a cardio solution. The reason it's an issue is because I want to stick to my financial plans. So I have to get a little creative. And the reason the cardio is an issue is where I live, I don't really feel comfortable going out and walking two to three miles uh, just due to the crime, the level of crime. Most people aren't going to mess with me, but I, there's no reason to, to put anything at risk. Right in this local area, like right where I'm at, we've had a couple issues, but over the four or five years I've been here, there's been almost nothing. It's just that you go a couple blocks anyway from where I'm at in my ghetto house and there's crime. So I don't feel that that's a good thing to do. Not logical. So I've been looking at uh, some bidding sites um, to try and get a cheap treadmill, bicycle, something to get my cardio going other than just on the weekends. Hoping to really start to step up the physical activity some more, stand a little more at my work, at my work desk. Finally, I wanted to explain my sign off. I typically say, remember that I love you because first of all, my regular viewership, there's only a handful of people. Well, there's more than a handful, but the people that watch are people that I do love. And sometimes we can go a long time without someone saying they love us. And I, I want anyone to be able to come here and know that honestly, dude, I love you. I want what's best for you in your life. I love you. Second, I say take care of yourself. I say that because for so many years I didn't, either physically, emotionally, spiritually. Those are all aspects of our health that we need to watch, especially like if you looked at last week and you saw my chart. If you want to be on the green line, baby, you got to take care of yourself in all three aspects. And finally, I think rock on is self-explanatory. Remember that I love you. Take care of yourself. Rock on.